First off, give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors unto our apostles and elders at Great Millstone that rule well, and salutations unto the elect. We are the Hebrew Israelites, and we come out here every week prophesying the downfall of America. So let the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans know you are the true children of Israel and not these so-called white people. And I'll also let you know that these so-called white people, or Esau, or Edom, according to the Bible, is going into slavery. But before that, his kingdom, America, is going to be destroyed in thermonuclear war. All right? So with that being said, Philippi also, we're only out here for the elect. All right? We're out here, we're out here to preach this word, teach this word to the elect. The elect is going to receive this word. Man. Go ahead. Philippians chapter 2, verse 1. If there be therefore any consolation in Hamashiach, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels of bowels and mercies, fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded. What's being what being like-minded? Being having the mind of who? The mind of Christ. As the as the uh, the world is ignorant, his name is Yahweh Shai. We're supposed to have the mind of him, man. That's why Yahweh, Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, left him here as an example of how we should follow after, man. It says, fulfill my joy, and his joy is what? To preach this word to the elect, to push forth his prophecies. That's the joy unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. And uh, going into that word, bowels, I'm going to get that, Bob Shai, in uh, Philippians, the second chapter. Uh, what, what verse was that? Uh... It might, it, might have been, it might have been the very first verse. The word bowels. Yeah, first verse. Strong's G, 46 and 98. It says bowels, intestines, the heart, lungs, liver. The bowels were regarded as the seat of the more violent passions, such as anger and love, but by the Hebrews as the seat of tender affection, especially kindness, benevolence, compassion, hence our heart. You hear this? It said the violent passions. All right. So this thing, this thing of ours, man, we are passionate about. It. That's why I said there'd be any mercy, any consolation, okay, any vows, any mercy, okay? All these things, this thing of ours consists of, uh, we have to be passionate about this. Being passionate is going all the way out, man. Putting all your eggs in one basket, not wavering. Not doubting this thing, man. And, but you, you also have people in the world, they're passionate towards worldly things. And through the spirit, we went through that, you know? We're passionate about this truth. We're passionate about the blood of Yahweh Shai. Let me let me be correct. Yahweh Shai, our Lord, man. We're passionate about these things. That's why we don't care what what time of the day it is, what the weather looking like, you no, know, uh, what personal ailments and things we got going on at home. So what, man? This is this is our passion. And that's the joy that Yahweh Yahweh Shai wants, man. To be passionate about this thing and fulfill, fulfill the things that he has said. Another thing it says, inward affection plus tender mercy. So, uh, unless you want to keep on it. No, you can do that. That inward affection, your inside, like how you really feel. Okay, because you can act like you down for the brotherhood or, or act like, hey, even when it comes to charity. It said, uh, uh, uh what was it, uh, uh, Dang, uh, something giver. Uh, I can't, I gotta find, I gotta look it up right quick. But basically, <laughs> giving, uh, basically being a, a will forgiver, you giving because you really want to give and not because you have to give. You know what I'm saying? I think it might have been a chill forgiver. So, but basically, at the end of the day, you're not giving. Like if a, uh, yeah, it's not like, like if a brother need help and you got it, you give it to him like, damn, man, he always need help.
help, but hey, the brother hurting whenever he hurting, you just give it because that's that's part of what you're supposed to be doing as a brother. All right, not just to do it to look good. So it's it's really that inward, just like when it came to the scribes and the Pharisees. Okay, they inward man was dirty and and, un, and unattractive, but the outward appearance is what everybody respected them for, man. This is First Peter chapter four verse eight. And above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. Yeah, I, I was speaking, not giving charity. No, no, I, no, I, no, I know, I know, more to it. Use hospitality one to another without grudging. Yeah, so hospitality, you know, just doing it because that's the, it's the right thing to do. It's, it what makes you different than these niggas out here. You know, that's our goal. At the end of the day, we are to be different. Than niggas, than the average Negro, Latino, or Native American. Okay, the part of being an election, a selected, or, or, or you know, uh, chosen, is you're different from the rest that weren't chosen. Okay, so you're supposed to carry yourself in like that manner, like we read yesterday, your conversation amongst the Gentiles, man. All right? They either going to be converted, like, hey, man, these, these people, like, like a lot of people meet us, when we in a group and they like, you know, they, they just gravitate to us, man. It's just because of the the, uh, the aura that we give off based on our belief and faith in Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? They meet us or individually. You might meet a chick and she like, dang, this dude don't do this. Dude, like, I done met, you know, I done dealt with plenty of chicks or whatever. And I didn't cause them to stop smoking, stop eating pork, you know what I'm saying? Do certain things like that. And then as soon as they, we stopped talking, they went right back to it. But it's just, you know... It's the fact that I was around, they have the respect for me that they was doing that thing. So that's hey, why people respect on? us. What's up, bro? What's up? This is uh, Ecclesiastes 19 and 29. A man may be known by his look and one that hath understanding by his countenance without meeting him. Yeah, yeah. And it's all about your it's all about your demeanor, man. Okay? If you can have two people dressed the same, but once you talk to both of them, they might talk different. And that's how you can, you know, see how they are. Okay, and that's why, hey, it ain't always about the outward appearance, man. Hey, just like John the Baptist, man. Yep. You no, know, he, he didn't come in uh, the, with the, the gay clothing. You know what I'm saying? He didn't he didn't come um, in, in, in glory. All right, not not in um, visual glory. But when you, when you talk to John the Baptist, it seemed most I had the spirit on it. Uh, had the spirit on that man, and that speaks volumes, man. So, I, hey, and that, and how you carry yourself? How's your conversation amongst the uh, amongst the wicked, man? If your conversation is is similar to the wicked, how can we tell if you're a, a man of the Lord or not, man? Exactly. And that's why that's at the end of the day why the Lord searches out the rain. So what we can't tell, based off the Spirit, He's going to reveal through the Spirit. Hey, and that's why I said in First John. Uh, second chapter they went out from us that they might be made manifest yep. you know just because you can read the bible and say how about shimmy how shy and read read the longest hebrew prayer and break it down don't mean that you're a man of the lord man you got to really be in this thing because the most high uh, uh sifts you out then it is made manifest that you wasn't up you weren't of this fold man that you was really a wicked uh wicked israelite that you really went down for it. you weren't passionate it was a thing for the moment. If you're going to dare to be different, be, dare to be different for the right reasons, man. Philippians chapter 2, verse 2. Fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. And being of one accord and one mind. So there's no... There's no disputings amongst the brethren, man. We don't we don't have differences of of, of of doctrine, man. We believe in this thing. Now you do have sometimes a brother might might break some down wrong and get corrected on it, and then he'll come to like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. But you don't see you don't see he believes in uh, Buddhism. You know, I believe in uh, I believe I believe in Allah. We have another brother that's a Seventh Day Adventist. Another brother that's an atheist. That ain't how it work, man. We all in this thing with one accord, one mind. We believe that this place, America, is going to be destroyed in thermonuclear missiles because the scriptures say so. Hey, 
Hey, and like the apostles always, they always tell us, man. They say, hey, if you, you don't agree with this, then you can, get, you can go ahead about your business, man. Go start, go start your own camp, you know? Yeah, or shut the fuck up. <laughs> Straight up. But hey, that's what you're going to have to do. You either shut the fuck up and deal with it, and that's eventually going to get you out anyway. Because it's going to be, it's just, once you have that breach in your spirit about a brother or about something, Satan going to continuously hit more and more in different angles. And then eventually you're going to be like, and you're going to end up like a lot of these cats that come against the apostles and the elders, man. Or don't give them respect and, and reverence for, uh, for, for coming up under them. All right? But like through the spirit, a, a lot of... Uh, I gotta, you know, officially watch what's happened with uh, Sakari and the apostles and everything, you know. But uh, uh, Trinidad, the, the brother, the Trinidad brother was up there with him, you know. And at a point in time, you know, he, he to my knowledge, we wasn't dealing with him. So something happened that, you know, what was ever behind doors, but through the spirit, it happened, and he was up there with the apostles, man. That's why you can't just completely. Count people, hey, the apostles used to always say what? If they continue in this or they continue in that, then they're going to be destroyed, man. All right? Because we we can't determine who is and who ain't going to make it, you know? Verse 3. Let nothing be done through strife and, or vainglory. Yeah, let nothing be done through strife and vainglory, man. All right? And, and that's through the spirit the brother was saying that. You doing you do it in front of people to make it look good. Are you, are you, uh, you out here doing things, uh, teaching this word just to look good in front of your peers? All right? You say, it's right neither, man. That's why, that's why you got to be out here for the right reasons. You got to be in this thing for the right reason. Because if you're in it for strife and vain glory, the most high going to weed you out. Period. That's that breach, man. That, yeah, exactly. You know? You, that, that breach is you letting Satan come in and, and uh, um, like I said, build a tent in your, in, in your house. Man. Build a, uh, no, what was the proper word? Uh, uh, base. Uh, 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 it was uh, a base, base, but it was another one I thought. Okay, I had to look it up. I, I know I remember base was in there. Dang, okay. Uh, fort, was it a fort? Uh, go ahead, y'all. Y'all got it. Uh, okay. Let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in, low, but in lowliness of mind, uh -huh. let each. Let each esteem, let each esteem other better than themselves. Right, hey, that, that comes with being humble. All right, it don't matter how you came into this truth. Once you come into this truth, you gotta, we said we become servants. You know what I'm saying? So how, that's why you get brothers to come in because you have to, you have to be servants. You have to humble yourself, all right? And then when a the brother get in, you can't act like I'm holier than you. You know what I'm saying? If we on, we on the same page, that's why I said be like-minded. If we ain't like-minded, like, -minded, like for example, this brother's above me, you know? But if you know, the brother, the brother ain't gonna come to me talking all crazy because he has rank on me. Yo, be quiet right now. You know? I'm about to. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It, it's, it's loneliness of mind, man. Now, if I get to a point where I deserve a rebuke like that, it's different. But if we're on the same page and teaching the same things and we're in the same spirit, all right, that's exactly how it's gonna continue. You're not gonna know who's the head, man. Yeah. You know, because we all we all carrying ourselves in a holy conversation. Hey, what do a lot of people do? What do a lot? Of, why why he can't talk? Why he why he can't talk? Won't you say something? You can't talk to me. That's they they don't like order, man. Yeah. All right, they don't like that order. Yeah. You know, they want to sit here and cause confusion. They want to have a conversation with him, and this guy have a conversation with me. While these guys are talking to the two other brothers, like no, that's confusion. All right, that's too much going on. We're gonna hit. What's up with your question? Bop, 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 bop. And, and, it, and you think about it, one of them to have that same question and it could get answered if they just chill out and wait their turn. You know what I'm saying? What they want to do, they want to divide and conquer. They want to see what you say and then they want to ask somebody else and see if he say the same thing and then break it down from there. They're trying to say, well, well he, he said this yeah. and he said that. Which one is it? The guy tried to do it last week and I stopped that shit. You know what I'm talking about? Some well. You're saying this, but we were saying the same thing though. I forget exactly what was going on, but I caught on to that. I said, 